Alrighty, good morning. Getting a late start today. It's uh, after nine o'clock. Got to the trailhead at a little after eight and left my trekking poles in my in the van that drove me up here. And the van was going down the road about 17 miles to another stop to let people off. So I had to go back to the hostel, wait till it got back so I get my trekking poles. But good news is it put me in the same time frame as Nichols, who's up ahead there. There he is, our man. Got me through yesterday, and we're gonna take on the next 11 miles and head into North Carolina today. So more after we get done. First big climb here. See ya. What is that bright yellow orb in the sky? I have not seen that in a long time. But here it is. We paid our dues yesterday. Now we got some sun peeking through. It's downright warm. We're both in short sleeves and uh, feeling pretty good. Breeze is down. Humidity's up. Breeze is actually nice today. Yeah, breeze is nice compared. Yesterday was a gale beating us in the side of the head. Today, it just feels good. So, all good so far this morning. All right, well, I sort of lied about the sun. It's all foggy. We're at the top of a mountain, taking a little break. There you go, there's Nichols having some a snack, having a hard-boiled egg. We got five miles to go to the North Carolina border. So uh, we're looking forward to that milestone today. And then on the Muskrat Shelter, Muskrat Gap? Muskrat Creek Shelter. Muskrat Creek Shelter. Sounds like a wonderful spot. That's where we're gonna spend the night tonight. We'll see you a little later. All right, I just remembered we didn't start the Would You Rather yet today. So today's Would You Rather is, would you rather have to live without the sense of taste or without the sense of smell? Think about that one. I'll noodle on that while we're heading towards North Carolina and uh, let you know what I think later. See ya. Heading downhill. It's, uh, weather's kind of changing quite a bit. On top of that last little spot where we were resting and had a snack, it was getting chilly. I threw my top layer long sleeve hiking shirt back on. Uh, because I got pretty sweaty coming up the hill in the short sleeve shirt, then I was getting cold. But uh, it's nice now. And uh, had a good night last night, second night at around the Bend Hostel. And uh, big breakfast. Like I said, late start because I forgot my trekking poles and man, had to wait a while. But it's all good. It's uh, Good to have somebody hiking with, and uh, Nichols and I make pretty good uh, pace together, so that's a good thing. It's nice that he's from back home, just outside Philadelphia, and uh, stay at the same place tonight. And then we'll press on tomorrow, see where we're going. A couple days into Franklin, North Carolina, where I've got a hotel lined up in a few days. A little cheap hiker hotel downtown, but I'd like to try to get there early in the day and see a little bit more town. I think there's a little bit more of a town there than there was in Hiawassee. And uh, it means I'm gonna have to push a big day tomorrow to try to get into town in Franklin a little bit earlier. Ah, whoa, low, low clearance back there. Top of my bag with the, uh, with the pad on top is hitting it. Anyway, moving on. So I don't know if you can see through there. It's like a light colored area. There's another one up there. There's some places where like the trees must be thinner. And there's some fields or they're just 
different kind of tree and they're lighter. It's like light patches in the, because there's no sun out. It's all, well, I guess there's some blue sky up here. It's been a crazy weather day. Sun goes in, it gets chilly, sun comes out, I'm hot. But it's not freezing rain at like 35 mile an hour wind, so I am not complaining one bit. Um, the one thing I noticed, and I talked to Lisa at the, uh, around the Ben Hostel, one of the owners, is uh, there are like, I see, we're seeing no deer, nobody's seeing deer. Uh, she said they don't have a lot of deer around here, which is kind of crazy, but she said they got wild pigs and they got armadillo, which we saw a couple days ago, one on the trail, which was very cool. She said they got bear sit down. She's got you know, all the acreage, acreage, I forget, not a lot. she got a little bit around their place, um, a little more around the place. I stayed down the road from them. They said they don't, they don't get a lot of deer. It's crazy because I see them all over Pennsylvania. But yeah, each state got a little different flora and fauna, I guess. Check in with you later. Whew. Doing a climb a couple miles from North Carolina. We can see some blue skies and a little bit of view. For the first time in a while. Oh, there's one back there. That looks real nice. Yeah. Excellent. The blood is pumping. The lungs, feeling it. We got some big climbs coming up. Like, I think one's like 1,100 feet in a mile, in a one mile, 1,100 feet of gain in a mile. The legs are gonna be feeling it a little bit. Let's go. Six tenths of a mile to North Carolina, baby. Woohoo! Going through a little rhododendron green tunnel but we will be there momentarily let's go i think we are about to cross a border milestone oh boy look at that it's hard to see georgia north carolina Thing. All right, fantastic. Good job, Nichols. Nice work. <laughs> All right. There's some blue sky after a big steep climb right into North Carolina. Yeah, another one coming up here. I think we get down a little bit and about a big one to the shelter. Shelter's 4,600 feet high tonight. This should be interesting, but see the mountains out there. I don't know if we're going to turn and go across those, but I wouldn't be surprised if we do. Or over there, mountains out through there. One way or another, we're going across the mountains. And uh, we do that for the next couple of months, I guess. Feels good. Sun shining. Feel good. Hanging in there. Nothing's bothering me too much yet. Knock on wood. See you down the trail. All right. So I just checked far out. The app that we use track distances and the next shelter and water sites and all that. I got a 500 foot climb. Followed by a 500 foot drop, followed by a 500 foot climb, and then maybe like a 50 foot drop down to the shelter in the next two miles. Oh, the legs are burning. This will be a challenge. Let's go get it. See ya. Alrighty, well, the first 500 mile climb had a little bit of a off we're not at the top yet but there's a view out there in the distance that lake
lake is where Hiawassee, Georgia is, where we started, right near where we start today. But pretty nice. Cool temps, warm sun. Just gotta get to the top of this first climb, then down, then up another, and then to the shelter. I think it's gonna be packed. A lot of people. A lot of hikers out today. Set my tent somewhere near there, hopefully. I think there's one more good view we'll check before we get there. All right, coming down, 500 foot drop. And I think that I'm gonna have to go up that mountain right there. I don't think this is doing it justice, but I'm not gonna lie, it's a little intimidating. And Looks like it, this is going to hurt, but i got to do it, so hopefully there's a good view up there somewhere. I'll show it to you guys before I get to the shelter and compete for space somewhere. Just about the top of the last climb. Oh, the... Uh, Second 500 foot climb wasn't quite as hard as the first, believe it or not. Uh, but it was by no means easy, let's be clear. Uh, kind of see through the tree, you won't be able to see through the trees. You can see another view of the lake out there in the distance where Hiawassee is. Uh, and, uh, oh boy, feels good. I'm tired, legs are tired, feet are a little sore. Uh, not sure if I'd gotten an hour and 15 minute earlier start, I would push on to the next shelter or not. It's like 4.9 miles. Um, oh, there's a dog on the chair. That looks like, that looks like river, so it must be sage. I'm gonna stop and say hi to him. Okay, so I got camp all set up. There's my tent. There's Nichols over there. And uh, I'll show you around a little bit. I'm gonna take a walk up to the privy. I won't show you that. Uh, I'm gonna try to go to the bathroom and change into my sleeping clothes. I'll show you around the corner here. So one of the things you have to do, let's see if you can see it, hanging up there is my food bag. It's a bear bag hang. Probably not official. It's supposed to be a certain distance above the ground. Tight enough a bear can't get it. It's out on a small limb of a tree. Bear can't climb out on without it breaking. I think if a bear really wants to get your food, they're gonna get your food and then you're kind of scrambling, but I think it's in pretty good shape. And also, here's like a really mean, Barky dog that's camped like right behind Nichols' tent and barking at everything. So, if a bear comes by, the dog is gonna start making a lot of noise. So, that's the privy right up here. There's a shelter in there. So, I just had dinner down there, cooked dinner, ate down there. And now, I'm gonna come back over here, do what you do at the bathroom. Changing the sleeping clothes. It's about five something, five something right now. Have an early night. 
Uh, oh, would you rather lose your sense of smell or lose your sense of taste? That's hard. <laughs> As I'm walking up to a privy, which is going to stink. Yo, oh, somebody's in there. All right, so I'm not going in there. We'll wait. So what would you do? I think I'd rather lose my sense of... <laughs> the guy in the privy says he'd rather lose his sense of smell than his sense of taste. Uh, and since he's sitting in the privy, I can I can relate. Um, I think I'd go with that too, because there's just too many foods that I like to eat. And I'll enjoy the taste of. Although, I think you have better memories of smell than you do taste. But I think if we're doing it, we're going to do... I think I'm going to say I'd rather lose my sense of smell than taste. All right. This is, you can see there's this shade. There's another tent over there. There's tents kind of spread out all around the uh, shelter. There's another lady. I think that one right there. I think that lady has a dog too. That dog's named Seneca. He's very nice. He was in the, in the hostel with us last night. The other dog back that way. Not so nice. Anyway, uh, check in tomorrow and tell you what the plan is. See ya. All right, just a little peek inside the tent. Here is, here's my bag right outside the tent. And let's see if I can do this. This is where you get in and out. Right here, here's the bag. There's my Crocs. There's my hiking shoes drying out, the hiking poles. This little area is your vestibule. So all that stuff's there. Then underneath my, this is my sleeping quilt. Underneath it has a sleeping pad. I'm on just a little bit of an angle going this way. So what I've got is, there's my puffy jacket. And all my clothes are kind of stuffed right under here, as well as some other stuff. So I got this side of the sleeping pad, like a little bit of a bumper to keep me a little more level. And then kind of behind me, up in there, that little pocket is where I keep... My hat, my uh, my night light, my uh, headlamp, my um, earphones. And I'll put my I'll put the phone up there at night. And my glasses up there at night. But uh, there's some of the there's that's what the uh, sleeping quilt goes in. So yeah, this is uh, this is your bedroom. There's a little extra storage right here. If you want to put some dry clothes there to dry, uh, I need them today to be a bumper. So. This is what it looks like in here, and this is where I'm going to hang out and watch some videos, work on some videos, and uh, go to bed. See you in the morning.